ladies and gentlemen, we are here. It is time. This should be the end. The finale. The last bit of the game. The last hurrah, the home stretch. We are here at the Pokemon League. We have taken our teams and gone ahead and leveled everyone up to a nice even 59 across the board. Um, and that should theoretically provide us with uh, enough of a consistent at a level average to make it through everything relatively smoothly. I believe the champion her highest level is a 59 so basically we are not over leveled for the champion um i think the elite four only has a 58 highest level so technically we're over leveled for the elite four itself but aside from that i think we're good to go um just take a quick look at our team here we have our magnezone who's going to be our lead for the first match darmanitan with the uh, macho brace here Superior Miracle Seed for all these grass moves. Sigilith with the Twisted Spoon to uh, boost that psychic damage. Make use of all that special attack we got. Flygon with the Dragon Fang so that Dragon Claw could attempt to put in a ton of work against the Dragon type champion. And Azumarill, the water type with huge power. So in addition to Waterfall, we will have superpower as an option if needed, even though uh, Mazumarill is holding Mystic Water. So I would assume Waterfall, as you know, in addition to Mystic Water and Stab, is probably going to be a better option most of the time. But sometimes that fighting type will just prove useful. So with our team set and ready to go, let's go talk to the man. The Pokemon League is a place where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You have to beat the Elite Four and the Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four, and if you defeat them all, you can challenge the Champion. Simple enough. However, I warn you, once you start your challenge, there is no turning back. You must keep battling until you defeat them all, or are defeated yourself. So, um, yeah, that sounds uh, pretty par for the course here. Do I want to go in? Uh, yeah, I think so. I spent all my money stocked up on as many items as I uh, reasonably can. And I believe are, we're just going to go from left to right. So let's start off with the far left. And this should be the, is she ghost type up, right? Yeah, she's ghost. And this certainly seems ghostly. All of these wiggling books everywhere. And then we scared a bunch of ghosts. And I like how it's like, it's all very thematic and, you know, stylized, but was that real? Um, why has everything gone black? Interesting. There's some really weird, uh, occurrences with this emulator. I've got to say there is one man who wonders the world with the black dragon Pokemon through ideals. That's part of the novel I'm writing. So she's writing a novel about N. Um, it has nothing to do with you, which is not completely true, but I suppose she doesn't know that. And she is correct in assuming that I'm a challenger. So let's just uh, get through this so that we can actually have a screen again. This game definitely, well, this emulator rather, definitely does not know what to do with uh, the lights going out, as evident by Clay's gym. All right. Begins. So our first uh, opponent is going to be a Cofragrigus. All right, and we're just going to bust out this nice shiny new Thunderbolt, and it should do all of the work we needed to do. So that'll be a nice two hit. Um, getting burned sucks for the damage, but I believe it's only a physical attack drop. And if that's the case, then I'm not too concerned. Even if it drops on special attack, this is still definitely a two hit on this. So we'll see where our damage goes from here. And then we go to Golurk. So this is going to be a ground type, which means we're going to switch over to our steel type flash cannon. 
Now this should still, if not be a one hit, this should be a, a clean enough two hit. And Earthquake, unfortunately, Magnazone is not uh, levitating. So I'm dead. You hate to see it. Um, Alright. So then, how are we going to adjust for dealing with the ground ghost? I suppose the correct move would be to bring in something... I guess what we can do is we can just use Dormanitan and see if we can't just get through this with Fire Punch and whatnot. And if Dormanitan goes down, which, damn, we were outsped. That's really unfortunate. Mm, can you live this? Not even close. Alright, so then what we're going to have to do is switch into somebody who isn't going to get, like, immediately destroyed by this. So, my guess is, let's just go superior. And, so we shouldn't have to worry about an earthquake coming this time. And we're going to use this opportunity to revive our Magnazone. Um, it's funny. Oh, I do have some Max Revives. Cool. I wasn't able to buy any, but if you're gonna give them to me, then I'll definitely use them. And now we see a Shadow Punch come out. Um, so since we're here, let's just uh, try and put in some work this way. See what we can get done here. Like against the ground typing, the grass is definitely a good option. But now, you're busting out a fire type, so I definitely don't want to be here for that. I also don't want Magnazone in for that. So what we're going to do is switch over to the Flygon and hit you with some rocks. Now, let's see how this... Let's see how my plan goes, because it sounds nice in theory, but can we even tank that hit? Not very well, I would say. For something that's not very effective, it still did well over an acceptable amount of damage so let's see how this goes we do at least outspeed it which is very important but it wasn't a one hit it is two but we would need to survive a second hit first and let's see if shadow wall is going to allow us to survive and the answer is no of course not um but again fire type so this is one of those situations where now we can just throw out the Azumarill and see how this goes. So, as previously mentioned, we're going to go for the Waterfall. Energy Ball, what an option. Why do you have that? Wow, I seriously just got one shot by Energy Ball. Oh man, that's not good. Um, Wow, that's really not good. So... Um, I'm trying to see now, Ghost, uh, da -da. I'm trying to see, so, so Sigilif might be the, the option here. At this point, I feel like if I can get rid of the Chandelure, then whatever's left, I can just sack uh, Sigilif, swap back in the Magnum Zone, and take it out. But this is definitely more work than I expected it to be. And that wasn't even a one shot. And now I don't know if Sigilla can handle this. And the answer is no, it cannot. So what I want to do then, hmm, uh, off to quite the start. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to go superior. We're going to use just a regular revive on the. Flygon because we know it outspeeds here. And go for the four store. That's really unfortunate. You hate to see it, but that's what it is sometimes. Um, the question is Darmanitan and Azumarill don't outspeed, so we're gonna revive the Sigilyph as well, since that's something again that we know outspeeds. More worried about outspeeding because this is about to get killed right now. And since it is back to full health, we are going to need at least two turns. So what I'm thinking is go Flygon, Rock Slide, hope for a flinch, 
and if you don't get a flinch, Flygon's gonna die. So we back to Sigilyph. Sigilyph is going to kill Witch Psychic, probably. And then just see what we go do from there. It'd be real awkward to just like immediately wipe against the first person, but that's what the end of the game is all about. So, alright. Rock slide. Again, we are faster. We do outspeed, very important. Um, it did not flinch, and so Flygon is going to go down, all according to plan. This is all within accepted parameters. So next we'll go to Sigilyph, and we will outspeed it, and Psychic should take it out. Good. First step down, second step damage. Good. So Chandelure is taken out now. Sigilyph is good. And the last thing is the Drift Blim. So it's going to be a ghost flying type. So Magnezone is definitely in a good position to clean this up. But um, let's un make an unnecessary risky play. And instead of reviving somebody for a potential sack or pivot, let's just go straight for the Psychic. We do outspeed. So we're going to get this hit. Um, I think each of the Elite Fours only have a single healing item. And then the champion has three. So... We don't need to worry about this Drifloom getting healed. As long as Magnezone can tank one hit, assuming it doesn't outspeed, then we should be good. Quote unquote, good. We should win anyway. Might not be the best, cleanest, nicest looking victory, but it'll do. And yeah, okay, it just can't even touch us, so we're good. Wasn't pretty, but it was a victory. One down, three to go. Yeah, I was thinking that the last two would be a little scary. I mean, I, I see Elite Four for you. I guess they're all going to be scary. Um, okay. My Pokemon and the challenges Pokemon, everyone battled even though they were hurt. Thank you. Uh, the unfortunate thing is now I don't actually know where I am, so I'm not sure where the hell I'm going, which is really weird. Yeah, I, I don't care too much about your talking i just think it's really awkward that i can't actually see anything right now which is super different so i'm not exactly sure okay huh um this is kind of awkward because i'm not really sure how to go about this right now um Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How to resolve this issue? Um, okay, so for the sake of the recording, I'm actually going to pause here and we'll be back when we figure this out. Okay, so the recording is back. We're back. We're good. There was a teleporting pad like to the back and right of her. So in the darkness, we just kind of had to bump around until we found it. But we did. We found it. We're good. Um, we are set to proceed now. Of course, before we do that, we need to bring back our entire team because everyone's dead. Um, so let's go find some revives. This is why we, uh, made sure to stack up. There we go. Because literally everyone is dead. And it's like the only person who was still alive did die at least once in that battle themselves, so... Yeah, that was a, a lot tougher of a battle than I expected. Maybe I should have just hit level 60. Alright, and now we can just uh, go find our hyper potions. We have 50 of them, so it's like using them even when they're not like super necessary. Yeah, it's just cleaner and easier this way. Uh, we can actually just speed this up. And then... Where's our, like, regular potion? Alright. So, everything is good. Everyone is healed up. What we can do now is do a little switcheroo. Bring a zoom roll out front. Um, I guess save? I suppose so. In case we, like, wipe and then we'll just restart from where we left off just for the sake of, uh, time. So let's see who's behind door number two. Um, 
from what I was looking up, I did some very slight minor planning. Um, I forget what type this person is. I believe they're dark. So we're leading Azumarill for superpower. And then the second or the third one is psychic, which I don't necessarily have a clean lead for that. So I don't have like an idea of who I want to lead for this third battle. And then the fourth battle, we're going to lead Sigilith for um, psychic against the fighting types. Unfortunately, they all have rock moves. So when I inevitably don't one shot, <laughs> Sigilith is going to die and it's going to be a mystery how I uh, approach it from there. But before we get there, not, let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We have uh, the second Elite Four member to deal with. Good old Grimsley. So, starting off with a nice, I believe, mono dark type in Live Art. So, I don't know if we'll outspeed or not, but at the very least, we'll get faked out and so we're going to flinch. Congratulations, was it worth it? Hope so. Let's try this again. And then you go for a high crit chance move. And of course you get your crit, naturally. Will this one shot you? After all that trouble, I sure hope so. Um, unfortunately, I feel like I should heal now. Um, I think what I want to do, oh great, I can't even do it against a crocodile. I was going to say switch out to Magnum Zone heal Azumarill and then Volt switch back, but I can't even do that against the Crocodile. Um, so let's just switch to Superior, see if we can take whatever he throws our way, and perhaps go for a Leaf Blade. Alright, so this is, good. this is a good start. So let's Leaf Blade here. Deal with that ground typing. At least two hit. It's clean one hit, nice. Whew. Good old starter coming in clutch. Alright, so now we have a dark fighting. So Leaf Blade has no business like necessarily doing anything here. So I think we're going to start by just straight up healing um, Azumarill. And then we'll see what Superior gets hit by. So it's going to go Rock Tomb. Alright, not too much damage here. Superior is actually proving to be a sufficient tank for this match. Let's see how much damage we can get on this though. And yeah, definitely not a two hit. Now, why would you use that move? <laughs> Getting called out by the computers, all right. Um, it says that, so you know what? Let's go for Frenzy Plant. Let's see what kind of damage this will do. Use that special attack of ours. I'm not really sure what kind of special defense this thing has, so this might actually be better. Uh, it is comparable. The fact of the matter is neither one of them were, were uh, two hits, so it doesn't even matter. Um, we did get it to, we did get Grimsley to use his um, heal, so we can just go for another frenzy plant and see what we get hit with from here. Okay, we'll live that. This thing doesn't seem to be able to hit us too hard. Ooh. I wonder why it waited so long to use that. Oh, and then the Moxie boost. That's a little scary. Um, but I'm going to actually put out the Sigilith and go for... S oh, I can't go for Psychic because of the Dark type. That's fine. That's fine. What we can do is just go for the Air Slash. We're faster. The Air Slash should kill because of the Flying type. There we go. We're good. Whew. All right, and now we have the Bisharp here. So this is just Darmanitan's like opportunity, just on full display. Um, I can't use Ice Beam because of the Steel type, and I can't really use Psychic because of the Dark type. So the only option I really have here is Flying, which isn't going to do much against the Steel typing either. So I'm thinking we just go for the Hard Switch. Um, it's gonna probably go for some kind of a dark move to deal with our being psychic. Hmm, what else is steel weak against? Fighting and fire, that's pretty much it. So I can actually go to the, to the Azumarill, who might be bulkier. Um, let's look at the summary here. Let's see, we have a D 
defense 99, special defense 106 versus... Mm, yeah, so let's actually lead, uh, switch to Azumarill, who has a better chance of tanking whatever hit comes out. And then we'll go for the super power, which should be times four super effective here. And then of course the Night Slash, I'm sure everyone on your team has it. Um, so let's see if we outspeed. If we don't, then we need to not get crit. We do not outspeed, so this needs to not be a crit. It wasn't, so this should one-shot you, honestly. There we go. Much cleaner. Nice. And that was the second Elite Four member down. That actually went a lot smoother than the first one. And the best part is he didn't turn his candles off so I can actually see where the exit is. Yes, yes, I'm shining brilliantly. I'm not the one shining, these candles are shining so I can see how to get the hell out of here. All right. And now I'm back to healing everyone again. Um, Superior is dead so we do need to heal him. Um, literally everyone else is at full health which is great. So, let's go find our revive. There we go. And then, since we're next to the super potion, we'll just use two of these. One more. All right. Now, the next um, Elite Four member is a psychic type. So, I'm not completely sure what the correct move is for this fight um i'm actually thinking maybe let's see um how does dragon feel about getting hit by psychic it shouldn't care too much one way or the other so i think we'll switch flygon out front and we'll just see what we can do uh see what dragon claw does as far as damage is concerned and take it from there i don't really have the most well thought out plan for this um what's the word i'm looking for for this elite four member they're not really a gym leader so let's see how this goes very pretty so special where did it go like so much technology <laughs> went into like designing these rooms it is me who appeared when the flower opened up uh yeah that that is that is the thing that happened a little weird but all right time for the third battle and now i believe she will lead musharna right so this is just a straight up pure psychic so this will be a good uh, a good test to see what kind of damage output I get with Dragon Claw, I suppose. We have the item to increase its damage plus its stab, so just shy of a two hit. And now you're trying to put it to sleep. That's a little annoying, um, but you're not attacking, so I think we'll just go for the Dragon Claw again. Unless I get a high roll, it's not going to kill. I want to sleep, but that's okay. I'm going to stay in and hit Dragon Claw again because you're going to heal. So that gives me at least one turn off of my sleep. That's fine. Um, I don't know if they can wake up until the third turn, but there you go. Wake up on the second turn and Dragon Claw again. Perfect. Perfect. Um, in all honesty, it's very likely to go for... Wow, I thought it would go for Yawn again, but I guess they didn't expect it to wake up. That's why they did the Dream Meter, so now they're going to Yawn. But I'm actually in position to kill them before they get that off. Nope. So they did Yawn again, which is unfortunate. But I am not too worried about that. Um, wait a minute. Am I stupid? I was not crunching this whole time. I should have been crunching. I know there are definitely a ton of people watching this in, in the past, or rather in the future, looking back on me from the past and just screaming at how dumb I am for not just crunching 
I honestly probably could have two shot it and wouldn't be asleep right now if I just crunched. So that is very foolish. Um, now the question is, do I do crunch again or do I go rock slide? Um, because of the flying type, I think they're both totally viable options. So let's try and think this through just a little bit. This crunch is going to do 80. Rock slide is 75. So I think the crunch is better. Um, also, just to confirm, this is a ground type, not a rock type. So there is no stab on either one. So all things considered, I would say crunch is probably the better move to go for. Ooh, ice beam. Can't be too surprised. My sigil lift has that as well. Naturally, I'm dead from that. Um, not a problem because I'm just going to bust out the Magnus Zone and a Thunderbolt should take care of this, no problem. Should be simple enough. You do outspeed me, but I'm not too worried about psychic types. That's good. At least a two hit. Clean one hit, even better. There we go. And now you send out Reuniclus. And I don't know Reuniclus is typing very well. Um, this is actually one of those things I should probably have like a dock to the sides, like set to the side so I can figure out exactly what I'm dealing with here. Um, Cause the alternative would be to do something like, you know, ramble into the mic so that while I'm rambling, I can just go ahead and look it up online. So that I can confirm that Reuniclus is in fact just a mono psychic type, meaning we are good to just do what we've been doing. And it's at least a two hit. We got the power um the paralyze, so that's good. The paralysis. Um focus blast. That is a fighting type move that's going to probably one-shot me. Yep. That was unfortunate. Um, Alright, so... What do we want to do from here? Um, I guess... Since we're looking things up, it's in our best interest to just look and see what the last thing she has is. So in addition to this Reuniclus, her next Pokemon is going to be a Gothitelle. So it's just two pure Psychic types. Which means the only Pokemon I have with like a clean answer to that is gone. So I'm thinking let's go Superior who's been um, serving as a pretty effective wall lately. And we're going to use this to actually bring Flygon back to life. So let's do a little revive on Flygon. Get our Crunch user back. And Reuniclus is going to go for the recover. So be it. Does that work? Like, does that get rid of the paralysis? It does not. So that's good. Um, they also are not at full health yet, which is good because I'm going to just use this turn to Hyper Potion up. And perfect. Paral ah, paralyzed. I keep like mixing up whether I want to say paralyzed or paralysis. Uh, since we're here, let's just see what Leaf Blade does. At this point, because of being on set mode, it's probably in our best interest to just fight it out and not switch Flygon in like a hard switch. It's one of the benefits of it, this not being in Nuzlocke yet. I can just sack somebody and res them and sack them again. But Superior is actually doing a very good job of just putting out the damage needed to take care of this by himself. And you see the Miracle Seed? That doesn't really matter. I would say you got very complacent. This was definitely some lazy... Um, well, not lazy, but some very poor choices on the AI's part. Uh, Calm Mind is a little spooky. Definitely about to get set up on. Um, since Leaf Blade didn't do a sufficient amount, I'm going to just say let's go with the uh, Frenzy Plant and see what that does. We do outspeed, so that's always a plus. But with the Calm Mind, I'm a little scared of how hard you're going to hit when you finally go for an attack. Mm, and we we survived but unfortunately i had to recharge from frenzy plant so yeah so the question now is do i go for flygon and go for the crunch i mean i think the answer is obvious i don't think i have much of a choice but to do that and so 
Let's crunch and see who's faster. And I outspeed you. Wonderful. This should be enough to kill you. And whew, done. I was a little worried that I was about to get swept after that call mine. Yep, you learned a lot. Thank you. I, I accept your thanks. You're welcome and all that good stuff. You haven't faced all the Elite Four members yet, have you? No, no, I have not. Don't concern yourself about me. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it. So, that is three down. The fourth and last person is the fighting type, Marshall. So, we're going to lead Sigilith and basically just hit Psychic and hope to one-shot. When Psychic inevitably fails to one-shot, then we'll see how we go like where we go from there because i might want to just go azumarill and aquatel after that i think that might just be the way to go so for now we'll just uh revive our two fallen comrades and magnazone very good and then a little healing action and one more and one more and let's save while we're here all right so we are good to go let us take on the final elite four member oh god damn very different entrance there, huh? Greetings, Challenger. The number one pupil of my mentor, Alder, who was the champion in Black and White 1. So that's cool. Um, in, order to keep the, um, in order to master the art of fighting, I've kept the training, blah, 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 similar path, test your strength, Kia! Sounds about right. Sounds like what you would expect from a fighting type user. Alright, homie, what you got? What you got? I'm gonna lead throw. So, just to prevent myself from getting caught off guard too far down the line, I'm gonna just look and confirm that your entire team is a mono fighting type team. So, that means I am definitely not having. Like, I definitely don't need to worry about secondary typings throwing off anything with um, Psychic. Uh, that, however, doesn't change the fact that you are definitely going for Rock Slide or some kind of rock based move like Rock Tomb, but you missed, very unfortunate for you, so I get to click Psychic again, again while you use your one and only full restore. Good, good, good. Wait for your life to go back up so that you can get hit with the Psychic again, and I outspeed you so your throw is completely dead, because I'm just going to immediately air slash, and that's that. And we hit level 60, so that means we're going to do just the slightest bit more damage. And you send out Conk Elder. Again, very good. Um, what I want to do, just to make sure I'm not pissing people off again, like with uh, the whole crunch situation. Um, Psychic is 90, Air Slash is 75. So yeah, I'm definitely way better off using the Psychic, especially since I have the Twisted Spoon. So this is our best chance at a one hit which is like what we need at this point and exactly what we got I'm gonna give credit to hitting level 60 for that one and then sock so we get sock and throw and you're gonna get psychic and you're going to die correct after just one hit right ooh 30 that's scary and I'm not gonna avoid this rock slide so can I take a hit ooh I was able to take the hit Hair slash to finish you off just to preserve you know the psychic pp for a potential use for um the champion and this is indeed your final pokemon so hit psychic let's see what happens and one hit there we go wow sigilyph carried the entire match all sorts of on your back good job sigilyph well, I'm glad you respect me. You kind of should after what you just went through. 
and I have now become the strongest Pokemon trainer in this Pokemon League. So the statue on the, cha on the chamber will take you to the champion's room. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you for that. Now let's just check over our team real quick. And yeah, no one was like, no one even participated in the battle outside of Sigilyph. So we're good to just heal up. And so the champion is going to have dragon types. Um, I'm actually going to just stay leading Sigilyph and attempt to outspeed and ice beam things, I think. At this point, I think Sigilyph might just potentially turn out to be MVP here. Um, since this is also the last battle, do I have any... Um, I do have elixirs, so let's actually look over our moves and see who needs it the most. Um, because we have two psychics left. Um, I haven't even used our mana tin. We have two frenzy plants, but that's kind of like a last case scenario. I really rather just use leaf blade. I think that's fine. And honestly, that's pretty fine too. Thunderbolt, we still have 10 of those, but I might want to... Alright, so if I have two, I guess I'll just use it on the um, Sigilith and then hold on to it just to get the Psychics back. Maybe? I don't know how necessary it is to even like really bother with that right now. Um, yeah. I think we're fine with how we are then. And... Let's see. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. I mean, we'll use it because it's here. Um, just because it's here. Get this stuff out the way. Um, it's funny, we actually have some other items too, like Carbos that we haven't been using. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Sync for special defense. Um... I don't think that really matters a huge ton right now for this. HP up is huge. Um, let's give that to... Um, I guess let's give it to Sigilyph. Iron is just straight up base defense, which... I mean, we'll just throw it on Sigilyph too. Just go crazy. PP up. Um, I'm not really worried about the PP of anything right now, I think. Special attack up is something that is very much going to Sigilyph. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, duh, which is base attack. And we're actually going to put that on Azumarill. No effect. Darmanitan, no effect. So I guess they have like maxed out attack stats for that. Flygon, we can give it to. And we still have one more, but I don't know. Oh, superior. Nope. Okay, so I guess we'll just sit on this last one with no one to give it to. That's fine. And I think we're good to go then. Everyone has all their moves. Everything is good. No one needs any items equipped for anything. We'll save and we will head into the champion. Just throw a little save on that. This is it. This is the end. How exciting. I think we're... Uh, in better shape to handle this than you know it might have looked like given how this whole ordeal started but we've come a long way now we must climb the stairs to the champion and hear one of my favorite champion themes right up there with cynthia's welcome challenger yeah i'm not about to do no <laughs> little girl iris voice i've been waiting for this yeah me too more than you know um here we go how exciting i really look forward to having serious battles with strong trainers i mean come on <laughs> yeah come on Whew. if i battle like that not only will i get stronger my pokemon will too we'll get to know each other even better all right Brace yourself, everybody. I'm going to defeat the Pokemon League champion. 
Oh god, this this song. Oof. This is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Alright, so first things first is gonna be Hydreigon. So we have a dark type here. So dark dragon. The dark is a little scary, but we're going for ice beam against the dragon typing anyway. And with the special attack buff, we were able to get at least a clean two hit on it. Let's see how much damage this does. Can we tank that? We were able to take one. However, we are dead to crit. However, however, we are faster, so this is enough to end this. We also need to keep in mind that the champion has, I believe, three full restores. So if at any point she gets in the red, there's just so many opportunities for her to heal back up. Um, she's now going Lapras, so this is a little scary because she probably has Ice Beam and I'm a flying type. So I think what we're going to do is switch over to Magnezone. And hopefully we can tank whatever Ice Beam they throw our way. Call that. Of which, of course. Now we're going to Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt should do a nice chunk of damage. And she's very clearly about to put me to sleep. Really? That's unfortunate. Um, I'm just going to Thunderbolt. She's going to heal up. This is... This is, um, Caitlyn all over again. Except this time I probably won't be so lucky to wake up on the second turn. But we're gonna try to... So, Thunderbolt again. Yeah, we don't wake up this time, but I'm not too worried about what this Lapras can throw at me because... I should be able to take it. That crit did a hell of a lot of damage. Um... Alright, I'm actually going to just go for the heal instead of trying to wake up and fight through it. Let's just heal up. Um, now that I think about it, I should have full restored. That probably would have got rid of the sleep, so I'm definitely at least somewhat dumb in that regard. Oh well. That, however, makes it a little less oh well. Unfortunate. Alright, well, since we're this point let's just hit the full restore and confirm that would it have gotten me out of sleep and the answer is yes it would have i should have used that originally instead of the hyper potion shame on me um as long as you don't get a crit i'll be fine you don't get the crit so we're going to thunderbolt i am faster than you which is good to know now this isn't going to one shot you and then you're going to immediately put me back to sleep, which is very much not appreciated. Um, since this is the champion battle, and I mean, I have 54 of them left, I'm just going to full restore again. Like, I don't care. The question is, are she, is she going to use one of her other full restores, or is she going to save it? There you go. So that's kind of what the AI does in this situation. They're not going to heal somebody twice. So... She'll still have two. She pretty much just gave up on using it. I should have actually Volt Switched so that I can try and set up better for her next Pokemon, aka I should have just went back out to Sigilith, but this is fine. Um, Agron is a Steel type, so we have a... Um, actually, now that I think about it, Agron is Steel Rock. This isn't even a Dragon, so... Steel Rock... I don't really want to use um, anything I have here. Uh, I'm going to Volt Switch and then go Azumarill, I believe. I think that's the plan. Seems like a good enough plan. And that Volt Switch honestly did way more damage than I expected. My goodness. That was damn near a two hit. So. Let's see, ooh, let's see how Azumarill takes this. And the answer is not very well, but it was a crit. Um, all right, let's go for the heal. I'm, like, there was really no reason to 
even menu all through that just for hyper potion. I have so many full stores, like I can't use them all in this battle. But whatever. Double ledge? Okay, interesting choice. Not too much damage, so we're gonna go for the waterfall. And I outspeed, so this should be enough to kill. Wonderful. And now you're gonna send out Drud again. Drud again is pure dragon, I believe, right? Yes, 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 pure dragon. So I don't have the most obvious answer for this. Um, I'm thinking I want to. I kind of think I might want to switch out, honestly. Um, let's see. Should I switch out though? Water against a dragon type is not super effective, but not very effective. So, if anything, I might want to just superpower this. Mm, all right, looking like we're sitting at a two hit. It might be a range though, especially after the stat decrease. Um, I also might not live to see another hit. Um. I mean, at this point, I'm faster, so I can get one more hit off. The question is, do I superpower or do I waterfall? I'm going to say superpower. Let's see where this goes. Is this enough? Nope. Stat decrease is way too harsh. And Dragon Tail, so Azumarill is down. This isn't the end of the world, however because I'm going to just send out, hmm, actually, who do I want to send out for this? Let's send out, Darmanitan hasn't seen literally any action, so we're going to send Darmanitan out, and Tredigan is going to heal, that's like a guaranteed, right? So let us... Take these Max Revive and bring Zumaro back. Drud again is just not super useful for this like entire Elite Four, honestly. Like there are some situations where Drud again could have helped, but for the most part, I'm not like seeing it a whole lot. Um, now let's go Superior. Actually, let's go Flygon, and we will just go for the Dragon move. Um, honestly, I'm surprised they didn't heal and they just went for the kill, but they definitely healed this turn. Wow, they really didn't heal still. Interesting. Ooh, am I bugging? Doesn't she have... She, yeah, she totally has three full restores, so I'm not sure why she refuses to use it. Alright, sent out Archeops. So, that is a rock type. Um... So, I kind of want to just go back to Azumarill. I think what I'm going to do, though, is risk Magnezone's life, which is completely acceptable, and switch over here, and then just kind of use this as a pivot, basically. If you kill it, you kill it, and I'll get a free switch to Azumarill. If you don't, then I'll just go for some Thunderbolts and see what kind of damage I can do. Um, yeah, so you're gonna rock slide, which is fine. Like I said, if you kill me, that's fine, but you're not even doing that much damage. And the Thunderbolt is going to do all the damage. My goodness. Ooh, Magna Zone, you was just, you was a beast. Breaking the mold. Alright, so it all comes down to this. Um, Iris's final Pokemon. We're actually just gonna go real aggressive with it and just hit the Thunderbolt. I don't expect to outspeed it, so yeah, naturally. But this is going to basically allow us to get a cleaner switch back to Flygon. And then we're going to go for the Dragon move and see how that works. I do outspeed, which is great because that means I am guaranteed to get at least this hit. And it's not enough to one shot. You went for the dragon dance, which is a little scary because you want to sweep me. Um, 
but you're 100% gonna heal this turn. Like, there's just no way you're not, right? So, Dragon Claw for free. Whoa. I mean, I'm not even gonna, like, front or lie or anything. Like, I was looking at Cerebi this entire match to make sure I knew what I was dealing with here. I know for a fact you have three full stores. Her just unwillingness to use them is mind-blowing right now. Uh, I'm going to lead Sigilith and just go straight for the Ice Beam and hope I outspeed. I don't outspeed. x is going to kill me. And it was a crit. That's unfortunate. Um, But not the end of the world. Um, we should check the stats on this. The speed is 169. Um, what is Sigilith's speed? 141, so I might actually outspeed with Superior. Azumarill's speed is pretty poo-poo. So let's go Superior and Leaf Blade, since apparently she just refuses to heal. And if we can tank this hit, just one hit, that's all we need to tank. Wow. Oh. Shades of Cynthia over here, literally trying to sweep me. Um, alright, we're going to... Alright, we put ourselves in the worst situation possible right now, actually. So we're going to go Azumarill. We're going to use Azumarill's life to basically full revive the Sigilith. And I guess at this point now, it's just a matter of can we survive a single hit and then just get one touch. We literally just need to hit this thing one time with anything. Azumarill lived, we're gonna pop our second max revive and put it, I mean, I wanna say put it on superior, but is it even worth it at this point? I'm not sure. Um, I don't think I have any priority moves on anybody. Um, so let's just take a quick look one more time and see what we're dealing with here. It's gonna outspeed me, so it's gonna have dual chop, x scissors, and earthquake. Earthquake takes care of pretty much everything on my team, honestly. Um, so I can't really heal our mana tin as an option. Uh, I mean, I guess we're just gonna use it on the Flygon. It just kind of fits in with typing at the very least. Um, this will probably kill us. It does. But we were able to revive Flygon. Um, honestly, I think at this point, it's just bring Sigilith in, hit a button, and just hope to tank a move. Just just let us tank one hit. Oh, and you completely threw the match. All right, so GG's. Iris decided to completely throw the match, and we win. I don't know why you would Dragon Dance again, but... The, okay, see, here's the thing. I say I don't know why, but the reality is you Dragon Danced because the AI did not see a kill with any move. So, I'm gonna assume that was the situation there. Either way, regardless of the AI's thought process, we won. We are victorious. That is the end of Pokemon Black 2. You're upset, but more than upset, you're happy. Good for you. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Um, this has been going off for 53 minutes already, and that was quite the ordeal. But we came out on top, we had some level of plan, and we were able to execute some level of that plan, but the thought of having to do that in a Nuzlocke setting scares the hell out of me, because there were so many revives used that I just would not have been able to use in an actual Nuzlocke, so there's definitely going to be some thinking that goes into, you know, the next week or so before I stream again, because the next time we stream is going to be the beginning of our Black 2 Nuzlocke. Um, I totally understand why people think this is one of the harder games in Nuzlocke. This is a game that has a lot of easy moments, but the moments that are difficult are very difficult. So, I will need to prep accordingly. To the trainer standing before me and to the Pokemon at your side, your beautiful bond has grown strong through battle. In order to make this bond an eternal treasure, your name shall be recorded here. 
Also, Darmanitan really didn't do much. <laughs> like, it's uh, unfortunate. But that's it. We're done. Sigilyph, honestly, probably MVP of the Elite Four. Um, followed by uh, Magnazone and Superior. Azumaro held his weight as well, and Flygon was useful. And then Darmanitan was uh, just along for the ride. And we ended with our team hovering between 59 and 60, which, I mean, 60 was my original like level I was planning to get to, so I think we did all right. And it took us a little under 50 hours. And that's of course counting time off screen that I was like grinding. And we have challenge mode unlocked. I don't think I want to do challenge mode in my Nuzlocke, but having it unlocked means that we can use it in a future Nuzlocke or even a potential future randomizer. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Saving. Good. Thank you. Sure. Appreciate it. And I think that will do it. Let's just make sure there's nothing else afterwards. There we go. I had a feeling it'd be a little something else. Gotta get the full champion experience, you know? Glitz and glamour. All the pizzazz. Then there's the Elite Four. I'm sure they're shaking my hand, but uh, you can't really see because these sprites don't move, <laughs> aside from walking. I think this is actually one of the few Pokemon games where the professor doesn't actually pop up at the end and, you know, go with you into the Hall of Fame and stuff. That's interesting. Professor Juniper really didn't do much of anything this game. But there you have it. That is the end of Pokemon Black 2. We started, you know, a month or two ago, probably about a month ago at this point, and um, it went relatively smoothly. We had a couple of bumps here and there with um, a few of the gym leaders, but other than, you know, two or three instances of having to rematch some gym leaders and two separate instances of the emulator just saying you know what there's no lights everything is dark that went pretty well the elite four was a little bumpier than i expected at the beginning but we got through it and i want to just thank everyone who was along for the ride from the beginning the middle and even those who this is the first part you're seeing so for everyone who has tuned in or is tuning in thank you um, if you're watching this on my Twitch channel, then feel free to click the follow button. Uh, the next thing I stream should be a Nuzlocke of this game. Um, but I am not necessarily a PokeTuber. There will be other things as well. Um, what those things will be and when those things will be is currently up in the air. But... Once March hits, there's some options, there's some things coming out I'm looking forward to, but I'll leave those unsaid for now. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, appreciate you just as much. Um, by all means, feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can see if and when anything else is uploaded. And if you would like to join in live and, you know, be in the chat, chit chat, cheer me on or cheer me down and, you know tell me how bad I am for not using crunch the entire time with Flygon, then there is a link in the description below to my Twitch channel. You can click that and it'll take you straight there. Um, I don't say this very often, but if you're on my Twitch and want to go to my YouTube for some completely unknown reason, then um, you can search my name Crisis Edge. So go Crisis Edge BB, the letter B twice. Um, and that will, you know, search that on YouTube. You'll find me. And with that, I think we can just call it here. Uh, I guess just to be on the complete, you know, like, let's just be completely positive that we've seen everything. We'll just kind of speed through this. That was the third, second, and first uh, first gym leader. So we're done with that. And that was N. And then this is me returning home. 
and let's just let it wrap up. And it looks like our mom never finished fixing her hair. Like she just put it up in that bun when we left for our adventure 50 hours ago and just was like, I'm not taking my hair down. I'm not combing it or anything. I'm good. <laughs> there we go. That was Pokemon Black. The end. How incredibly fitting. Once again, thank you everyone for tuning in. I will see you all next time.